Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing a plan with me video this time guys. Now my setup is a bit different because I'm having to do it in my kitchen because as you can tell by the noise in the background my kids are home and they're making so much noise. So we're going to get straight into it and I'm going to pull my little tabs because I already know where I'm starting off. So this is my bullet journal and this is what I use every single day to record my I'll show you it's just much easier so I use it every day to do my calendar and I use it for my expenses which I'm now going to do a video of and I also use it for my personal and my tips and my singing runs and all of my other good stuff my brain dump you can't really see all the right in there because I've put it all in pencil so it's just guesstimate and then I have all of my um, so here I do of my dailies so I have um, or weekly should I say so I have all of my days and what needs to be done I have my meal plan and then I will do another day of this just on the next day and that'll be exactly the same as this one just stuff that written differently so this one I am going to show you because I've already done a video of me doing all this and it took me ages but I'd actually decided to decided to skip half of it and actually go through with you guys and show you actually what I do and the process of planning it out and writing it all in so I am going to go straight into it and this one is going to be my November expenses tracker now I can't bend this page because it's really bad so I'm just going to move my little candle out of the way I'm just going to put that there because I like the actual candle in shot there we go and then I'm gonna got I got my pens all of my pens and everything else that I get I am gonna list them down below and everything I use so I will list them down in the description box for you guys so I'm gonna get straight into it now I've got my handy dandy ruler and luckily it's pink which is kind of lucky I'm so sorry that the noise in the background we're cooking the kids tea and we are right next to the boiler right next to me like literally just there so um, I do apologize if you can hear really bad noises and stuff like that but we will give it a good go. So, right, let's get into it. So I would like to do my November tracker, or my November expenses tracker. So I'm gonna start off with the lines. Now, my lines are in a, is it Leuchtman? It's a Leuchtman book. I don't know if I've got the info. Yeah, so Leuchtman 917, I've got it written down here at the bottom. Leuchtman 917 and um so that is my book that i use for my cash my um bullet journal sorry everyone uses different ones so we're going to get straight into it so with what i do is i have categories here so i use two two dots and then i put a line so we have my line going down the bottom and we'll do it all the way to the bottom so we'll do it all, all the way to the bottom and then we have my amount my amount is one two three four five so five along go all the way down I find this so much easier to try and keep track than constantly using a phone I love pen to paper then we have category one two three four five six so category is for what type of expense it is so if it's out of my say my groceries or if it's a bill or a household thing and then I also have a description box so one two three four five six seven seven for my description and that just gives me an idea of what it is so if I put say for instance um, we put a allowance of the first and the amount is three pounds and then the category is bill I will then put what the bill is like it's like my appliance cover and then I will put remaining of how much money we have remaining for the total amount of bills for the whole month it won't be for paycheck to paycheck I do this for the whole month so then we can um, keep track of everything so we have to do our little line at the top and I always need a ruler for this so bad otherwise guys let's try and not get on the other side and then I want to do a top one as well and then if you can see I've already like made drawings on the top because it's going with my bullet journal but um, I will probably just put them in and fast forward it for you guys so you're not having to watch me do all of this constantly and driving you crazy so we're going to write everything in my um pen my caster faber faber castell pit artist pen and I, i'm always in the xl for this and i've already dimmed dimmed the tip because my kids decided to bang it one day but there we go so we're going to write the word 
date. I'm not going to see that. And then we're going to write the word amount and category. And then we're going to write description. I always forget how to write this properly. And then we're going to write remaining. So. There we go. Right, so then we have all of our little pictures up top. Um, if I can do this very quickly, then I will not fast forward it, but and I will just not talk to you. But um, So with regards to my Spence tracker, I love to do these and have them ready to go before I do my budget for the month, but it just hasn't happened this month. All my phones have been full and I'm having to use a really old HTC to record this guys so please bear with me I will get these done and sorted with you so I'm just going to do some a few more little tiny little bits of stuff that I want to put on here and then we can get into it so this is just my tracker for my general expenses and on the other side I do have my tracker for my personal and that is what I use to track every single expense that we have guys so I do like to make these look super cute and so I actually want to use them so we're gonna put a nice little apple there I've gone with the like winter type theme so we have a nice little woolly hat here and if you haven't seen it yet I will obviously upload it very soon I'm hoping to upload it this week and I'm hoping you guys like it I like doing bullet journal videos but they do take a very long time and they are very time-consuming for me anyway so I'm nearly done guys nearly there I'm doing this very quickly because I've already like pre Put this in so I can just copy what I've already done and I do like to have pictures and stuff I'm not very good at drawing but I do like to have pictures and stuff so so guys my daughter decided to come in so right then I'm gonna do my little stuff over here let's see if we can get this in and done very quickly as you can tell, I'm not good at doing these little fake flower things and I'm overlapping them so much. Never mind. Right, so that one's done. And I want to do my November expenses. I don't know if I want to do that in pen and write the name in or if I want to put it in colour. Um, no, we're going to do that in pen. So we're going to go over. And my lines are not very straight today. I'm so sorry. Told you, I need a ruler for everything. I need to get a stencil for these, really. But, and there we go. Right, how will I go down? I'm gonna go around. So yeah, I love to have, just love to have stuff already organized and planned out because if it's not already planned out, then I will just not remember. And I've got an app on my phone that I use to track stuff as I go along. But as the month, goes nearer and nearer to the end and I'm over budget I just stop tracking it I'm just so bad with it so having this actually keeps me accountable and keeps me on track with it so let's just get rid of that one and then we'll just do the edges that one's it guys that is just so easy to plan and get it sorted and then we're just going to put the word November in expenses because you can never join them properly never join it so there we go all right so I want to do 
Um, let's do hatchings on this side so it looks nicer. So you can tell it's the background. Oh, fancy me. There we go. So it's just so much easier with having these type of trackers in my bullet journal because it's so small I can take it anywhere with me and I do take it to work with me and I know what I've got to plan and what I've got to do this week and where to go and I also track every single thing that I do so if I need to go and pay a bill I'll also put that in here as well it's just so much easier to work out if I've got it written down because even though we're mums and we're joint, we do know, we're miracle workers, we still find it very difficult to do certain stuff, so. There we go, perfect. Sorry guys, my neighbour decided to come around and see me, so. Right, so as I was saying, um, so this is going to be my November expenses tracker for you and I'll do the same on this side as I go along. I used to do it, I'll show you, I used to do it so I had set up trackers, Let's see if I can find it, so I used to do it so I had separate trackers. So I do like week one bills, variables, bills, variables. But I found that I didn't have enough room because it only got up to like the 23rd. And obviously you have another week there. So instead, obviously with all the gaps, so instead I'm just doing it like this and then I would do it on the next page as well. So then we get into my personal tracker. So I'm just gonna go straight into it and get on with the um, tracker side of it and do my little covers because I'm quite liking to do these at the moment so we have my person tracker and obviously I only allow a certain amount for my personal money so we're gonna just put this in and I just find it so therapeutic doing all these and I am in kind of in a little bit of a rush right now because I do have to go to work very soon. I've got to leave in like the next 10 minutes I think. So I'm just trying to get this out for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And so I have my tracker ready to go because I it's already the 10th of this month and I have not sorted my tracker out. So let's get that there. So I'm going to change my word and I'm going to do all this in black so with regards to my expenses uh, my personal tracker I still do two for the date so I have plenty of room so we still do two for the day two dots should I say and then for the amount we still do one two three four five we do five for this one so I'm going to get this in line and then we also do, then I also put shop. So this one's going to be shop. So one, two, three. This is five dots along for shop. Because I like to put where I've actually spent the money. And so I can keep on top of it. And then we have description, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten along, guys. And then obviously the last one is remaining, which I don't need a line for. Let's just do it this way. And then my pen is now running out. I need another one. I need another pen. I'm tempted to try some different types of pens next time. The microfiber pen. Oh, I can't remember the name, but I'm tempted to try those next time because they just look amazing. So there there we go it's gone over but it doesn't matter right so then I'm gonna put my words in with my normal pen so we have date a mount shop description and finally remaining 
to let me write the word remain because it's too big. So I'm then going to do all of my little colourful things and try and get these sorted. So I'm just going to do my mitts quickly. I do love winter time. I don't like the weather, but I love the thought of sitting at home watching Christmas movies. I absolutely love Christmas movies. My other half, not so much. He, they drive him crazy because we watch so many over the course of the month. And obviously Christmas films start in like October, November time in my area. So you can watch them on like Channel 5 and watch them on Sky and they're so amazing. I absolutely love watching Christmas films. And there's quite a few new ones out this year. I really want to watch the one that was out last year on Netflix and it was for, I think it was called Save Santa Claus or something like that. It had one of the big top guys in it. I'm hoping it's going to come out on Netflix again this year because I never got a chance to see it last year. Because I was always working. So let's do my last ones. And then we are done on this tracking video. So I'm going to write personal in normal pen. Try and get it in. There we go. Personal and we want tracker. I don't know why, but I can never write the word K properly and get it connected. So it's just a bit jumbled and I'll probably just go around and add some more um, colour to that so make it look darker and that'll be it. Now I did draw a, I did try and draw a um, cardigan type thing here but that's not going to work so I'm probably just going to draw a mug just like the mug on my front because I absolutely love hot chocolate. There we go, sorted. So that is it guys, um, I will be doing another video on this one, my tips tracker and my sinking funds tracker with you guys, but that probably won't be done for another couple of days because I am so busy with work and stuff, so I will go through it with you guys again. So we have our November tracker, we have our date that we'll put, our amount, our category, which will obviously be bills or one of our variable expenses, with a description of what it is and how much is remaining so we can keep track of everything and know what we're spending. Then we have here my personal tracker, so I have my date, my amount, the shop I'm spending stuff in, what I'm buying, because normally I buy two or three things at the same time, and then we have remaining. So guys, that is me done. Thank you so much for watching my video for my expense trackers for this time. And I will look forward to seeing you in another video next time. Please like and comment down below. I'd love to hear from you if you liked these and what I'm doing. And please stay tuned for my bullet journal uh, bullet journal video with this. This will be included, but it won't be included as me doing it because I'm doing it on here with you guys. So please stay tuned for that. I'm now going to go and rub all this out and then go to work. So I will see you on another video next time. Love you, love you, bye.